So I'm going to show you how to actually how to actually translate a web page in a professional CAD tool, which is called uh, MemoQ. So here we already have the MemoQ running. So what you can do now is to actually create a new project. So what you can actually do here is to create a new project, which you will create by clicking uh, this and uh, new project. And as you can see now, you can give it a name. So, for instance, website or web page translation. And you can specify your source language, which will be English in this case. And the target language will be Czech because I am Czech. You can add also some descriptions, some other information, but this is not necessary. So we can continue by clicking uh, next. So now, of course, you need to import the document that you will be translating. This is your HTML file. This is the web page file, HTML. So you can just click import. And uh, you will have to browse your file system and uh, find your, mm, your HTML file. So I've already prepared it. It's uh, right here. And uh, I just uh, click uh, open. And as you can see, MemoQ will, uh, will actually prepare this file for you. Now you click uh, next. And uh, now you need to select something which is called translation memory. A translation memory is uh, actually a simple database where all your translations will be stored. So that means if you translate a sentence or segment, as we call it, and uh, you confirm it by pressing Ctrl plus Enter, so this segment will be stored into your translation memory. And next time when identical or very similar sentence comes up, it will just be pulled from the memory. So it will actually save you some time or some considerable amount of time at times even. So now uh, maybe you can select some existing memory or it's better to use a new one because we are using this free of charge version of MemoQ. So there are some limitations. So it's better if you create your own new translation memory. So you can give it a name, maybe this one, My Translation Memory 6. You again specify source language and target language. And that's about it. You can just uh, create OK. So it's been created, it's here, and it's also selected. So now you can just uh, click uh, Finish. And as you can see, MemoQ will prepare the whole project and as you can see, my web page file, HTML file, is uh, already here. And uh, now it's very straightforward. You just uh, double click it. And it will open. And you can simply start uh, translating. So I'll be also using Bohemicus for this because I want to use the machine translation feature. So Bohemicus is here. It's been prepared, as you can see, English to check. And I have also chosen my Google uh, translation service. So I can just leave uh, running Bohemicus in the background and I can start translating. I think I'll skip uh, some of these segments and I'll just uh, start translating here. Well, anyway, as you can see, here we have these tags, these uh, gray tags. These are tags that are normally on a web page and these tags are used to control the flow and the appearance of the web page. But uh, here in this memo queue is very much simplified because uh, they are just uh, presented as a simple um, graphical um, element. Uh, so you can very easily copy it. For instance, you can copy, the, you can copy it uh, one by one, for instance, with your mouse and then you press Ctrl plus C and you press Ctrl plus V into your target segment, or you can actually very easily copy the whole segment by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus S. And as you can see, you can only, or you can only um, translate the text that's actually between the tags. Yeah. yeah, well, and so on. I don't want to lose time with this. So uh, let's translate the main text of the web page. As you can see, I can just press Ctrl plus space and it will automatically translate everything for me. 
And as soon as I am finished translating a segment, I always press Ctrl plus uh, Enter. And by pressing Ctrl plus Enter, I will store each, each sentence or segment, as we call it, I will store it into the translation memory. So I just press Ctrl plus Enter. And as you can see, it will turn green. So again, I can translate this. So let me just quickly translate all of these uh, segments here. Okay, translation is pretty good, so I can just confirm everything. And uh, now I think uh, this is enough for the demonstration. So I would like to tell you, I would like to show you how to actually export it now back to this HTML file. So what I can do is to go to documents and to press export and then export stored path. And uh, I can just uh, confirm the default values here and I just click OK. And MemoQ will export these files uh, to the very original folder. So I will have two files there, the original in English and uh, the target uh, in Czech. And as you can see, it will also open it in my web browser. So as you can see, this is my web page partly translated uh, into Czech. And now I can go to my original folder and when I open it, you can see that I have two files here. My web page this is the very original file in English and then the my web page CZE. As you can see, it's here. So, and this is how you actually translate a web page in MemoQ. Uh, well, there are some limitations with this MemoQ free edition because you can only have one file in your you can only have one file in your project. So if you have the paid version, you can add as many files as you need. So this, you, this will be very useful when you are translating a website. So it needs a collection of many web pages. This is just uh, to try it out to see how it works. But if you are a translator specialized in translating web pages, then you should probably get a CAD tool for this. I'm using MemoQ, but also what I'm using even more for my everyday practice is SDL Studio. But there are also some other CAD tools that uh, you could use. Some of them are even uh, free of charge, like Omega, for instance. You can also use uh, WordFast. WordFast is also partially free of charge, partially paid. There are some limitations, but uh, you will see. Uh, you can read my other blogs, you can read my other videos on CAD tools and you can decide which CAD tool is the best for you.